An Annapolis man is planning to attempt a 240 mile paddleboard journey right down the Chesapeake Bay. But this is not for exercise, it's to raise money for planting oysters in the bay. And WJZ is live. Stetson Miller spoke with the man who was doing this, and he tells us why it could help the bay big time. Stetson. Hey, Ricky, yeah, Chris Hoppington is the man planning to take that very long paddleboard journey down the bay. He is planning to do it in September, and it's all to bring more oysters and improve the health of the water. With each paddle, Chris Hopkinson is hoping to bring more awareness about the dwindling population of a sea creature that's very important to the Chesapeake Bay. Oysters are really like you know, the heart of the bay. As the, as the oyster goes, so goes the bay. The oyster population in the bay is now at just 1% of historic levels, and that's a big problem for the health of the water here. They are critical filter feeders. You may have heard that one oyster can filter 10, 20, up to 50 gallons of water per day. Chris says he approached Annapolis-based Oyster Recovery Partnership. They're learning that bringing them back could be the single most important thing that can be done to help the bay. His proposal, a 240 mile paddleboard journey to raise money for planting more oysters. Yeah, I think we were all speechless. Um, there was a silence in the room because it was such a huge undertaking. Starting on September 18th, Chris will paddle from Habitat Grace to Virginia Beach over the course of nine days, making stops along the way. For the journey, the goal is to fundraise $200,000, all to buy oysters from a hatchery. $10 puts 1,000 oysters in the bay. And all of them could make a big difference. The return is so great years from now that oyster will grow, become an adult, turn into a reef. Paddling 240 miles is no easy feat. Chris is having to devote a lot of time to training now. The conditions change by the hour on the bay. Chris says it's all worth it. Preserve the bay for the future. And I just want everybody to enjoy the bay. You know, my kids and our future generation, I think we have that responsibility now. And to donate, go to baypaddle.org. Live in Annapolis, Stetson Miller for WJZ.